Hello everyone, welcome to NS Academy. So today we are going to solve this limit. Now uh, this is again a typical limit problem and I wanted to show this because sometimes uh, whenever you see this kind of a problem in your JE examination or ISSMI examination or any standard examination, what you assume is these are going to be Riemann sums. Like uh, somehow you are going to transform it into a Riemann sum of the form 1 by n, summation k equals to 1 to infinity and stuff and then do an integration. This is not always the case and that is why this one is important. So understand that we are given the general term which is 1 upon n cube minus n and this is the limit. So basically what it's saying is that find out the sum of the series to infinitely many terms where you are just given the general term. Let this be s and you can write s equals to simply limit n tends to infinity summation k equals to 1 to n. Now the general term is uh, actually it will start from 2 k cube minus k. And you can simply put this limit here and you can say that this is nothing but k equals to 2 to infinity 1 by k cube minus k. So this is the sum we are going to evaluate. Now this kind of sums are very easy to evaluate because of something called telescopic nature. These are called telescopic sums. I will show you how. First take k common here. You will see it is k into k square minus 1. Correct. And then factorize this. You will see that this sum is nothing but k equals to 2 to infinity 1 by k minus 1 into k into k plus 1. And whenever you have this consecutive terms in the denominator, you can understand that this is going to be a telescopic series. How? First, we are going to take the constant difference of k plus 1 and k minus 1 which is 2 and introduce a half here and k equals to 2 to infinity and write the 2 in the numerator as k plus 1 minus of k minus 1 divided by k minus 1 into k into k plus 1. Okay, Do the distributive law, you should get k equals to 2 to infinity. So k plus 1 divided by this would give you k into k minus 1, correct? And half summation k equals to 2 to infinity again, this k minus 1 divided by the whole thing should give you 1 by k into k plus 1, correct? Now if you assume that this function is f of k, then you can see that this function is f of k plus 1. I mean what I am saying is simply assume that f of k is 1 by k minus 1 into k and if this is the case this is f of k plus 1. So we will simply write that half whole into summation k equals to 2 to infinity f of k minus summation k equals to 2 to infinity f of k plus 1. Correct. Now obviously if you were to do this you will simply get you can take this first term here which is f of 2 and write this summation as plus summation k equals to 2 to infinity f of k plus 1 minus summation k equals to 2 to infinity f of k plus 1. Why is that? Because we just took the first term which is k equals to 2 f of 2 and the next term should be f of 3 but we are rather writing it as k equals to 2 to infinity f of k plus 1. Notice that putting 2 gives you a 3 and obviously these two summations cut out and they are also convergent because it's a telescopic series and you are left with half of f2 and what is f2? f2 is 2 into 2 1 minus 1 this is 1 by 2 so half into I think half this gives you a 1 by 4 that is your required answer for the limit so these are how telescoping series are evaluated and you will use it in a lot of concepts and in a lot of sequence and series problems so let me know if you have any doubts and also as I said I am going to bring more of this to my channel single questions where you can understand the concept and then apply it to other problems. Thank you again.